Hello, my name is Sadly, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Victoria 3 in Japan. In a previous episode, we started a war against uh, Perak, which uh, then pulled in Cambodia and uh, Great Jing. We're about to do a landing into Formosa, that's just uh, five days away. And then hopefully we can conquer that quickly. The Chinese are moving a lot of their troops into Cambodia right now, and we're winning defenses in there quite easily. Of course, we don't have trench infantry yet, that's probably something we should start focusing on getting. As soon as possible, we got... Oh, did we not move in the second... Oh, bollocks. Second army didn't move in there. Did the army... No, the general did not die. But those are on combat. I suppose this one was the one that we wanted to send in here as well. Okay, that's 50 days, so that might not be the general, but oh well. Uh, we got naval combat in here. Oh, wow. 40, uh, 40 flotillas versus their 15. Are we massacre them? Oh, and there we go. A third of... Ooh, this is going to be a failed landing, I guess. Well, it's still minus 25 from difficult landing, admittedly. So I don't think we'll be able to get in there yet. So this might be... Well, if need be, we can just, you know... After Cambodia, we can just say that... You know what? We don't actually need anything from China quite yet. Although it would be quite nice to get someone from there. Got some idle mobilized generals. We're losing 100,000 per week. But okay, we're building so many things that are not covered by the investment pool. That's part of the reason. Oh, steel frame buildings. Oh, excellent. This is going to be game changer. Also, I suppose we might want to start working on improving our military now, so let's get the enlistment officers done as soon as possible. Although, actually, that's going to be done regardless, isn't it? Yeah, so I could start working on the hand crank machine gun. There we go. And then the construction, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start from small. Switch this one to the steel frame buildings. It's going to cost us a bit more. It's going to also increase the construction speed a lot. But, like, it's also going to be using the invest... 41 million in the invisible. Holy crap, how do we use all of that? Okay, so let's have a look at the um, stuff that we need here. Glass is starting to be pretty high price. So we'll probably just need to use or start producing a bit more. Glass works in here. Let's get a few levels for that one. We can't use the plastics or do the plastics yet, but that's something that we should probably uh, work towards as well. I wonder if... Um... Oh, we've got glass works over here. Let's put that to be auto expand as well. If we were to... Um make these into steel frame buildings as well. That would mean that the if we were to expand the steel or class works over here, that would be much more profitable. Okay, are we actually... We're going to lose that combat, so we're going to lose some ground there, actually. And our landing was a failure. We did inflict a decent bit of casualties, just not sufficiently. And we won't have a land front, so I suppose it's just a matter of uh, waiting for Cambodia to render, and then uh, at that point, they'll probably be fine. But yeah, we're still losing £90,000 per week. We're at 22.3 million credit. But at least our innovation is now over 100. Still a lot of room for improvement. Like, we could have up to 127. That would be quite a few more universities to be built. Right now, we probably want to use the investment pool a bit more. Still missing 40,000 from that. All right, uh, Shugoku, could we upgrade that stuff? Yeah, we could. Not necessarily the best location to upgrade right now, because those are not being built up all that much. Maybe we'll, if we upgrade our capital, that's probably going to be a massive cost. Steel, explosives and glass all are going to be massively expensive. But we're going to start working on fixing that. Especially with those, we can, you know, get the productions up and running a lot faster. There we go. So that's pretty much all the glass works already underway. We've got 400 points in construction already per week. Uh, it's the, oh, the investment pool is actually finally going down. Just about. Right, so, oh, Austria stepped out of the war. Good. Oh, are we... Right, we should be sinking their convoys, right? Start sinking convoys there, and we'll also start sinking convoys around here. So if we reduce their morale in here, we can win battle in or battles in Cambodia a lot easier. They've got just so much troops in there is the problem. But how is Cambodia doing? They're minus 62 in war support, so they will surrender sooner or later. Oh, and... <laughs> Yeah, we've got over two pages now being constructed at the same... Well, uh, more than a full page being constructed at the same time. At uh, full speed. And the, oh, there we go. The investment pool is now going down by 20,000 per week. Still not a lot. <laughs> it's a step through the correct direction for sure. Oh, there we go. Cambodia has been conquered. And at this stage, uh, we can probably just uh, say... So turn to white piece. Propose. They'll probably take it. There we go. We'll just need to get some better troops, quite frankly. Now let's have a look, what did we... Ooh. Crystal class. Porcelain. That's all good. Next time we'll look at start using the sewing machines. 
some, maybe some elastics. Uh, is there... There is some pops in here, so we don't necessarily need to go for all the cheapest uh, ways of producing things. Oh, photographic art. Right, we need some tools and paper for that, but that's going to be a lot more art production. Let's uh, do... We'll switch all of the art academies to that, because that's going to be a lot of extra money. Now, but back to Cambodia. Um, so we do did all of those. That's already in there. Maybe we'll put in public trams there, just for the heck of it. Reduce the workforce required at the urban centers. Uh, then the logging camp is going to require... We'll put in the electric solmers in there. Hardwood production. Maybe we'll put in the rail of transportation as well. And then the fishing. I'm just going to go through these agricultural things real quick. Right, unfortunately we can't get any opium plantations here. Although we could get some sugar plantations. We're going to build a few of those in here. There might not be quite enough pops for that, but that's fine. So that is going to be slowly improving. And uh, Malaya already we built. We can build some rubber plant. Oh, there's no pops available. Hey, philosophical pragmatism. So that's going to uh, increase the amount of bureaucracy available. Sign relations improved. Good, good. Oh, they improved relations with us. Unhealthy. Oh, we can declare more interest. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got two that we can declare. But one in North Germany again. Did we lose the one in... Oh, yeah, we lost it. Central America. All right, then. Um, I'm going to put one into Rhine, because that's going to be the Dutch, Belgium, and even the French that are covered by that. Now, it's the... Oh, there we go. The Western New Guinea is slowly increasing in size as well. Let's get a couple more sugar plantations there. And let's have a look at the things that we actually need. So steel is something that we need desperately. Glass is something that we need desperately. So steel uh, mills. I'm going to get another five there. We've got quite a bit of construction already going. But it's like once you get to the steel uh, frame construction, it gets really expensive. But it's also going to... Oh, Australian succession again. All right, well, I guess I'll have to do another landing there. At least we slowed down the speed that they increase. Oh, and that fight, regardless. It's uh, not going to be too big of it. It's just mostly an inconvenience, really. That's what it boils down to. The investment pool is now uh, decreasing in size quite a bit. We're still losing a lot of money, though. I suppose uh, the construction goods are starting to be a little bit expensive, but that is mostly covered by the investment pool, to be fair. The interest is... Oh, right. Interest is 100,000, because we don't have the minus 10% from the petty bourgeoisie anymore. The secession is going to happen in about, what, two, three weeks? Something like that. Not much I can do about that, but the standard loading is now almost 13. All this covered in Utah, all right. One more week. That's a lot of the glass work about to be completed, plus uh, a few other things. But hopefully that's going to start reducing the... Oh, right, there we go. That started. Well, do we have an army in here somewhere? We don't have one there. So I'm pretty sure that the armies have been brought back home. Yeah, they have. Hold it under Prussia. So what's this about? Revolutionary Nassau versus Prussia. Oh, right. Right, so after the Australian up uprising, we'd probably conquer Northern Territory or something. Losing 100,000 per week. Oh, wow. Um, we do have a lot of bureaucracy right now available. So what I suppose I could do, I could go for another investment. Ooh, actually, Colonial Affairs. If we were to increase that, we could colonize uh, New Guinea a lot faster. That's probably not a bad idea, actually. Although it's going to cost us a lot of bureaucracy. Is there any... Did we start coring this one? Uh, we did not. We could probably incorporate that one at least. So Borneo is going to be incorporated. Yeah, which, North Borneo is 10 years. East Bor oh, East Borneo. We didn't start incorporating it. Let's do that one as well. Industrial great materials. Okay, we'll set an import route. I don't know who we can import from. Uh, oh, Britain is willing to sell us a lot. That would be a lot of tariffs. Until they embargo us. We don't need to worry about the embargo for too long, to be fair. But there we go. Our uh, GDP is uh, growing again. We, I think we had 180 million at one point, so we have probably dropped a little bit due to all these wars, but I'm sure that we'll recuperate from that soon enough. Uh, right, and then the revolution... Well, the try to secede. They don't have a lot of troops, though, so we'll just land in one of the armies, and that'll be fine. Uh, we should probably activate one of the armies already. Uh, like the... One of the 20 battalion ones. Mitsu Tokugawa will do one last landing, I guess, before he's going to retire, most likely. Italy sides with Spain. Oh, Tidora's having another revolution, eh? Yeah. Well, that's their problem. A project of shortfall is going to happen. All right. Actually, is that going to be the case? Well, I suppose it might be. Although we've already used part of that, so... Most likely not, although now that the population is increasing further and further, it might still happen. 
All right, then. Um, radicals, we've gotten a million in the last year. I suppose we did conquer a lot of land. Um, loyalists, well, we've gotten a few in the meanwhile. But yeah, it's not going up all that quickly. Oh, we're not even using all our construction speed because it's just, uh, some of the buildings take too long. So the automatic expansion is not taking everything into account. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and figure out what do we need. Dyes is something we need. All okay, right, uh, let's go ahead and build a couple more dye plantations over here. Let's get another 10, actually. I'm sure that that'll be fine. And then over here, we can't build those, but we can get some more silk plantations. And maybe some tobacco plantations. And the war has started. Let's go ahead and do our landing. With this one. Uh, Mitsuo Tokugawa. Let's go. Is that... That is the capital, I believe. It seems like it, at least. Losing about £70,000 per week, so we still got more than 10 million credit. We got about 14 million credit, actually. So we can afford doing this for a while, but it would be prefer or preferable if we were to get rid of a lot of these. I mean, the sulfur price is pretty high, electricity price is pretty high, glass price is pretty high. Uh, the dye price is something that we can drop fairly shortly, to at least some degree. Small arms price is also... Oh, there we go. Um... They're still relatively high, but it's probably not the worst. Uh, it is hiring more people now. So we could probably get another level there. Well, I suppose we don't necessarily even need to get another level there. Let's be honest. So how long until the landing? 20 days. Yeah, we've got on at least a lot of areas in here. I suppose... Champasak, are you... You're independent. So we could probably conquer that and get some Laos. And then Dynam, are you right? You are still... You are a rival. Oh, actually, that's something that I could do. Jing. I declare you a rival. There we go. That's a lot of influence. Wait, how have we lost that much? I mean, I suppose we do have a lot more radicals than they do. And they... Well, we haven't got, gotten any of the... Oh, there we go. The landing's got to be a... Uh, roaring success. My 12 battalions versus 3... And we've got even a lot better troops than they do, so yeah, that makes quite a difference. And there we go, the construction is going along mostly fine. Uh, the taxes are still a bit high. I mean, we could raise the taxes if need be, to make sure that we start making money again. Although, I don't want to reduce the legitimacy too much. Admittedly, once the war is over and all that, I'm sure that it's going to start getting better. It's just all these constant wars that we've been in have not been very kind to our tax income. Oh, there we go. It's split the front to two. Of course, I don't think they have uh, anyone on the front there. Yeah, no, they had someone in there, but not anymore. But there we go. We're going to win this soon enough. In the meanwhile, are we getting all the... Oh, there's actually a little bit extra that we could gain from the investment pool. Although, we've got 40 million in there, which is the max credit that we can... Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that has a lot of money there, for sure. How is the taxation capacity? So, the biggest problem is Kyushu right now. Alright, well, I suppose uh, we could give it a few more levels over there, for sure. Then what else do we need? Sulfur mines, that's something that we can do in Kyushu as well. Get to 20 sulfur mines total. There we go, that's going to keep the construction going. All this cover in Yakutsk, alright. Uh, how's the engine... Um, it's not too bad of a price. Coal is something that we could probably use a bit more. Get a few extra levels there. Rubber discovered in Burma. All right. Speaking of rubber, how is the price right now? Um, it's a bit elevated, so we might want to get some more farming for that. We've got a bit of extra pops in here. I'm just going to put this to the max level. I'm going to take a bit of extra engines as well. How's the tool price? Um, the price isn't too bad. We produce about 3,000 over here in Kansai alone. Let's get a few more levels there. So is that... Um, economy of scale, 36% bonus there already. We can probably get that to quite high. Actually, I don't remember. Is there somewhere where I can see the max economy of scale? Oh, 50 is the max that we can have right now. So if we were to get 50 um, tooling workshops over here in Kansai, that would be a lot of tools for sure. Right, I think we're going to have to increase the taxes just to make sure that we don't lose. Oh, never mind. We just lost some uh, modifier from the Petit Bourgeoisie, I reckon. Yeah. So if we increase the taxes, that's going to have bad in, uh, influence in there. So we'll just let it be for now, I suppose. At least if we can get increase the standard of living, the radicals will start dropping a lot. 
And looks like our landing in Australia has been doing fairly well. Yeah, we've gotten pretty far in here. Okay, I'm sure of that. And they can already... Oh yeah, since we got their capital, I suppose. They're losing a lot of the lands in... Or the lot of the areas that they... Let me rephrase that. They're losing a lot of water bot. I wasn't entirely sure where I was going with that phrase. First, but yeah, uh, handcrack machine guns, that's six months away. That's going to be pretty good, actually. And then we'll probably get the torpedo to improve our fleet a bit further. I would like to get the trench works, but that's a quite time-consuming right now. So if we get some of the other stuff at first, that will make it a little bit easier. Samurai still kind of... Well, they don't hate us. Just don't like us quite enough to give us the bonus that we need to reduce the time and effort to research. But we're working on it. Uh, right, so is there... Sulfur is something we need a lot. Rubber, dyes. Dyes we got quite a bit already. We could probably get a couple of tobacco plantations in here again. Maybe some more silk. And then we'll get another... 10 more dye plantations just to be on the safe side. I mean, there's also going to be a lot of peasants that get a lot of work from that. So, you know, of the population, it's now 45% peasants. So it's slowly getting better and better. Also, uh, we still haven't gotten the, in the journal the... Actually, not that's not in the journal, is it? That's one of the achievements, which is the Enlightened Despot. Uh, electric street lights in all states while being an autocracy. Okay, so we need to increase our electricity production a lot, is what I'm hearing there. It's going to give it a few more levels there, power blends. And then we can start maybe, we'll put in the street lights over here already. The electricity price is going to increase a lot, but services amount is also going to increase drastically. So the services price is going to drop and thus the standard of living is going to increase. Plus we get probably a little bit more taxes from the, the consumption tax. So that's also nice. So we've got the max funding on military and government already. Uh, admittedly that is a bit expensive but that is probably how it's going to have to be. And it looks like the war in Australia is going to be over fairly shortly. They're offering a peace deal. Um, yeah, I'll take that. And now we need to switch all the productions again because they don't have the things that we have, so they want to... Actually, is that? Yeah. Oh, they did actually keep the steel tools. Why did you go for nitroglycerin? Oh, bollocks. That's the worst one. Yeah, at least you had the rail transportation there. Still there. Steam power, rail whaling. Proper fertilizers and proper tools. Vineyards. Get some slaughtering going, so more meat. Although the meat price over here is probably going to be very bad. The railway, is that... Technically speaking, if we go for the cargo prioritization, we can get maybe a little bit more infrastructure in here. Which means that we'll maybe get the market access to be slightly better. The standard, ooh, the standard thing is actually pretty bad in here. Mostly because they don't get access to a lot of the things. Oh, there we go. Colonial affairs. So now we should be getting a lot more. Oh, what's this then? Russia versus Amani. Oh, okay. None of my business. Right, so now we're getting the colonization in Western New Guinea pretty quickly. Oh, but now we've got the possible for assimilation. Although, how many... If we all look at the cultures, let's um, minimalize that for a little bit. So in terms of the numbers, there's a lot of Khmer, actually. Oh, and is, there's a bit of a chance uh, that they'll start a movement for independence. I'm guessing Khmer is mostly over here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we should probably improve... The, well, I mean, the standard of living is probably not too bad in here. There's not that many peasants, at least. The barracks is working the... There's actually 15 standard of living in here. There's a lot of turmoil, though. So that's something that we need to work on. Maybe we'll get a bit more logging camps. A bit more wood and all that. So language and classrooms. Maybe we'll uh, reduce the radicals from discrimination. For, although, petite bourgeoisie... Kind of need to keep them happy. Otherwise, we lose so much bureaucracy that we make no money at all. So, I guess we'll increase the assimilation a little bit. Just a little bit. So, Southern Australia and Western Australia have a lot of problems. Kyushu is uh, also having a bit of problem with infrastructure. Yeah, okay. It's going to need a lot more railways. Built another five. That'll hopefully help. And then Southern Australia... Oh, right. I didn't check these things. There we go. That's going to provide a little bit more infrastructure. And then... At this stage, we... Oh, actually, we lost a lot of infamy since the, we didn't take the lands from Jing in that war. That saves us a bit of problems. We'll wait for the machine guns and maybe the trench infantry before we do another war against uh, China. On the other hand, how strong are the troops from, say, Korea? Not quite as strong, but we can't declare war on them, I don't think. 
because they are tributary and all that. So no, we cannot declare wars on them directly. So it's going to have to be through Jing. I do wonder, Selangor, are you? You got defensive pact with Siak and Surakatra. Got truce with Johor, I believe. I could technically declare war on you. Would that pull anyone in? Well, I mean, it would probably pull in some of the smaller ones, but I don't think it would be too big of an issue here. At the same time, uh, we are still lacking a lot of money. Uh, we've got 26 million in credit. So we'll probably just wait for some increase in the productions in the meanwhile. Uh, the electricity price is pretty much the highest that we have right now. Hardwood is also pretty high. Glass, fine art, coal, coffee, wine, dyes, rubber. So we're slowly working on a lot of the things. How long until we get first of the... Well, it's going to take a while before we get any of the power plants, actually. We've got some railways underway. Well, those were stuff that I placed down on the production queue myself. I'm going to increase the clothing production over here in Kansai a little bit further. It's probably not a bad idea. Oh, we're no longer... Oh, hey, we got 200 million GDP, so we're number three right now. So we've gone past Italy. So now there's only Great Jing and Austria that we need to surpass in there on the list and then we are the biggest economy raising concerns um a shogunate i think you're gonna start losing a bit more power and crank machine guns unlocks excellent so now in well i suppose we'll get the torpedoes real quick three to six months so that's not too bad uh we did increase the taxation no we didn't actually increase the taxation and now we're making money again finally it's actually a lot of money at that. Well, the Samurais are now somewhat happy again. Just about. So that means that we'll have to do a lot less uh, research on these techs. Okay, that was probably how we got the hand crank machine guns. Because uh, they started being happy again. Well, the peasants are giving... Oh, is that the... Right, that's the various industries. Throughput. That's actually not too bad either. Uh, do we have a lot of peasants? Oh, we've got a lot of peasants in here. So we should increase some productions in here for sure. Uh, oh, there's a lot of lead mines. On the other hand, there's also a lot of um, agriculture. We'll get a few tobacco plantations and rice plantations, some livestock farms and a tea plantation. We can even get some cotton plantations in here, just for the heck of it. Well, more oil discovered in Utah. Right, so coal is the biggest one that we need right now. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and build up the rest of the mines at uh, Kyushu. And then also maybe a few more sulfur mines. And then the tooling workshops, we are going to get quite a bit of production in here. The tooling price isn't too bad. Oh man, we get 800 urbanization just from the tooling workshops. We do admittedly have a lot of uh, centers in here. I wonder if we were to switch to the covered markets, uh, that would increase the service production even further. Now, we don't necessarily have a shortage of services right now, admittedly, but it could be useful in the long run. But not right now, it would be increasing the steel price too high. Speaking of which, though, we... Oh, we're not actually building any. Give it a few more levels. One thing that we should probably, hopefully, get soon is... Um, oh, we're getting the plastics. Okay, that's actually quite nice. Uh, but it's the... Right, electric car process would be something that would increase our steel production, but that would also require a lot of electricity. So, steam turbine is something that we probably need. Hmm, steam turbine. Well, that's level four tech. I mean, it's we've already gotten all the level three productions. Okay. In society, we're finally getting the mutual funds, and that's going to reduce the interest rates quite a bit. And more minting. Oh, that's going to be a lot of money for us. Also, we're making a pretty good profit at this point. I do wonder. Should we increase some of the construction speed again? Is this one already? We'll make that as a steel frame buildings. And then Chubu, is that something that we've already converted? Not yet. Let's convert that as well. It's going to increase some of the prices again, but you know, also means that we build more things very quickly, so it'll be fine, I reckon. We do need to take a bit of our time to sort of fix our economy, though. Because we, while we have about 20 million that we could take as a loan, we are paying so much on the interest in there that it is hindering us a lot. Like, without that interest rate, we'd be able to be building a lot more for example among other things have a bigger fleet have a bigger army and lower taxes and all that sort of stuff so it is something that we need to wor work on to reduce but the credit is going down rather rapidly there insufficient agriculture uh, we should probably follow the advice industrialists are very influential but I want to keep them happy as well 
Because if they are happy, we've got a plenty of uh, room for the investment pool to be used. Let's have a look at the... So we've uh, started... Wait, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did get a few logging camps, didn't we? So that's a bit more hardwood production. Nothing massive though. I suppose over here is probably a good idea to increase production as well. So all prepared torpedoes done. Uh, I could either go for the mutual funds. That wouldn't be too bad. In the military, it's probably going to be the military statistics that is going to start spreading. Although mobilization goods uh, requirements wouldn't be too bad. That would make the armies being active a little bit more affordable. And then that would allow us to get the trench works without the extra cost in there. I'm going to go for the militia statistics. I'm pretty sure that that's going to start spreading naturally as well. Although the natural spread isn't all that high. Um, but... Oh yeah, it is spreading. There we go. 10 to 15 months. So possibly about a year away from getting the statistics. And then we can get the trench works. Upgrade our troops to the trench infantry. And then after that, we should be able to defend against the... Um, Ming, or Jing, not Ming, Jing troops quite easily. There we go, we're making 80, we're making 80,000 pounds per week, and the investment pool is increasing by 90,000. And all the construction that we're doing is covered by that. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and upgrade another one of these steel frame buildings. Pretty sure that that's most of it already. How many more is there? There's a little bit more. I'm just going to do that. So we've got 560 already construction. We've got a lot of coal mines admittedly being done now. Uh, I think we are going to need a lot more tooling workshop plus some uh, chemical workshop or chemical plants rather. We'll put uh, quite a bit of both of those underway. And then if we have a look at the market again, what else do we need? More glass, hardwood, coffee. So well, the hardwood is something that we can start uh, increasing a little bit in various places. That's already full. Let's put some. Oh, we're already full on our capital. Get the remaining 15 over there. Uh, the sulfur mines, I'm going to queue up another one because I'm pretty sure that we're going to need a lot more sulfur for all the explosives that we need for our coal mines. But the coal price is probably going to plummet a little bit. Hopefully at least. I mean, well, we need 1,500. But the amount of mines that we're building, that's doubling the amount of coal mines that we'll have there. So it's basically doubling the coal production more or less. There's an extra 3,000 plus a little bit extra in there. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be a pretty good amount of coal, I'd say. And we're down to 24.4 million credits. Credit where credit is to use. Well, speak of credit. Uh, I suppose well, I could boost the industrialists further. Sure. They got 21% in there. I suppose that is starting to increase our legitimacy a little bit, I would hope. And standard of living is now 13.4. So we are now 60th worldwide on the list there. Who is the top one? Bahrain, Hejaz, Gwalior, Kathiri, Zago, Italy. So Italy is the first one sort of notable on that list. They got pretty good GDP, or standard of living overall, but they got probably a lot of industry that they're using. Plus, you know, they got a larger uh, market that uh, they get a lot of uh, raw resources from elsewhere, and then they're just building the stuff in their own place, which, to be fair, is fair game. It's fair game. But I do realize that we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, you got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I love the next time. Bye bye.